Hey guys, it's Extra Dragon Force 101 here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the newest iOS 5.0 Beta 1 running on an iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 4, iPad 1, and 2. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, um, the, going to, go to the Red Snow website and we're going to download Red Snow, oh dear, oh dear me, not 0.9.8 Beta 1. And of course, I'm going to provide links in the description for both of those, including the firmware for your iPod Touch or your iPhone. I've, I've practically every single download link for all the IPSWs for 5.0 there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our iPod here, all restored. And of course, um, you'll need to look on the internet for a tutorial on how to get past the back door, the back door screen. And we're going to go here, and it says iOS 5.0 9A5220 P, which means it's a better version, and it's going to be awesome. So, it's not jailbroken at the moment, nothing at the moment, just got your normal iOS 5 welcome screen with the new reminders app and the new newsstand app. That's all. That's all we're going to do at the moment, is we're just going to add it down and we're going to open up Red Snow folder. What you want to do first is you want to right click on Red Snow and you're going to go to properties. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose a compatibility tab and we're going to make sure we click on Windows Vista, it will say Service Pack 2. On um, Windows 7, it's going to be Service Pack 3. If you're running on Windows XP, that is fine. And also, if you're running on a Mac, it will be cool too. You don't need to do any of this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on Red Snow, run as administrator, and click Yes. Here we go. And just to tell you guys, this is a tether jailbreak. All it uses is like um, GeoHot's Lime Rain Boot ROM exploit. Um, just to um, get it into a jailbroken state, which means you'll also have to use Red Snow every single time you want to turn it back on. So first of all, we'll do is we're just going to click Browse and we're going to select our firmware. Always say save it to the desktop as always. So we'll say iOS, iOS 5.0. There we go. I'm going to open it and Red Snow is going to process the firmware. And it should say IPSW successfully identified. We're going to click next. And it's just going to prepare all the jailbreak stuff. Preparing the RAM disk. So all we're going to do is we're just going to, down here in the options, of course, as it's um, a brand new jailbreak, all we're going to do is we're going to check install Cydia. Going to click next. And we're going to connect our device and then we're going to turn it off. If it pleases, of course. I'll come back when my iPod is successfully shut down. Well, I stopped the camera the minute it shut down. Brilliant. So, after it's off, we're gonna. I'm going to get the camera ready, and I'm just gonna click next to get ready for the jailbreak. So, power button for three seconds. Home button, power button for ten seconds. Restart, keep pulling the home button for until the red snow recognises it. Use it at 9 seconds. Here we go. At this point you can let go of the home button. We're just going to wait. It's going to download the jailbreak data to the device. Of course, just the um, normal um, robust boot. Do its stuff, get it all set up. Don't worry, because it's jailbreaking, it'll take a while to start up, so I'll pause it as it comes through the steps. Then we're back to the lovely pineapple. So just wait while the pineapple does its stuff. And at this point, um, Red Snow should say nothing. Just going to read the little warning. So it, at the moment, it says 
Note, this is jailbreak is for the device is currently tethered, which means in order to use any jailbreak programs, you must use the just boot tethered option right now every time you boot the device. Even if you just apply the jailbreak, you must rerun Redstone and boot tethered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait while the iPhone does its stuff, and I will come back to you when it's finished. So it's finished, it's still breaking, it's just turning on. It should take a while, don't worry about how long it takes. So, da, 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 da. hold it by its scruff. Don't worry if it takes much longer to turn on as normal, it's just jailbroken, so it should take a while. Come back to you when it's at the dock screen. So here we go, we're back at the normal iPod screen. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use the normal back door, so we're going to slide this up. As normal, triple click the home button. Voice over on. 8.29 p.m. Status bar item. Swipe down with three fingers to reveal the notification center. Double tap to scroll to top. Lovely. So, what we're going to do is we're going to three fingers down. We have local then you're going to triple click it to turn it off. It's cool, and you're just select the local weather. Home button. There we go. We're in. I'm a Volsco. Don't worry, guys, if you get the white city icon. So we're just going to reboot. And sorry, of course, what first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to do the just boot tethered. So what we're going to do is power off the device. Then we're going to open up Red Snow again. Of course, remember to run it as administrator. Whoops, it is. Sorry, I'm totally an idiot at this. Find Red Snow again. Right click. Gear. Right click and run it as administrator. Yes. So then, of course, we're going to browse for our firmware again. So, same place you saved it last time. Wait while it processes the firmware. Click next. Wait while it prepares its jailbreak stuff again. Such a fashionista red snow, isn't it? So it's going to prepare the RAM disk and everything's ready. So, of course, we've already jailbroken, so we're going to uncheck install Cydia. Just boot tethered right now. Then we click next. So, the device is both off and plugged in. And of course, we're going to click get ready and we're going to click next. One, two, three. Both buttons. Keep holding the home button for about seven seconds. We'll keep holding it until to the red snow. Then we're gonna let go. Well, red snow will do the rest for you. Don't worry. Just gonna let the, get the little pineapple. Don't worry. This is normal because it's already jailbroken, so it's fine. Wait while it reboots. Back to the Apple logo. And here we go, we're in as normal. So by the way, to get into your iPod every time you reboot in, you're going to slide it up as normal. Triple click home button. Of course, select the thing at the top. Three fingers down. Turn it off. Select the weather, as always. Press the home button. And we're in. And Cydia is all ready. It's going to tap Cydia. Just show you it works. On the developer, oops, click done, and we're in. So just to tell you guys that is Cydia, a jailbroken iPod Touch fourth generation, running iOS 5.0. And yes, that you know, guys, that's a bummer. It is a tethered jailbreak. So every time you have, to, if you turn, every time you reboot, like install something like Winterboard that forces you to respring or reboot, we're gonna have to run Red Snow and do the just boot tethered right now. So if you install something like Winterboard and you tap um respring, what it'll do is it'll just freeze. Um, it'll just go, it'll just go there, little Apple logo. So then, what you're gonna do at that point is you're then gonna home the hold the home buttons and get into DFU mode as that's happening, and you're gonna do the just put tethered on Red Snow. So, guys, yeah, that was um Extra Force 101 telling you how to jailbreak your iPod for the generation running iOS 5.0. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.